In this tutorial, we will analyze thermodynamic methods. We will focus on the available thermodynamic property methods, the recommended methods for selected application, and the influence of thermodynamic method on our problem. To explore the previous and next tutorial, click on the relative title. In our previous tutorials, I have been telling you which thermodynamic methods to choose. In this video, we will be covering the many thermodynamic methods that are available in Aspen and examining their influence on the results of our simulation. Aspen has four main types of property methods, ideal, equation of state, activity coefficient and special systems. In addition, an advanced user can modify any of these available methods or create a new property method on their own. Select the help topics under help in the menu bar. This will open up the Aspen Plus help window. On the left hand side of the screen, select the index tab and type in property methods. Select property methods in the list on the left hand side and then select the available property method option. The first group of available methods is the ideal group. You will notice that the ideal methods rely on using ideal system equations to calculate the equilibrium distribution ratio, which is then used to determine the equilibrium conditions. We can see the ideal property methods, for example the ideal gas, Raoult law and Harris law. We can go back and explore the equation of state. The two most familiar methods from this section are Peng Robison and Soave Redlick Kuang. You will also notice that Aspen provides many of the minor variations to the most common methods. For example, the modified Peng and Robison equation. The next group of available property methods is the activity coefficient group. This group uses various relationships to calculate the liquid phase activity coefficient and then calculate the vapor fugacity using a second relationship. Some of the most common methods for this group are NRTL, Unifac, Vallar and Wilson. As before, there are many modifications to the basic set of choices, which are useful for specific applications. The final group of property methods are the special systems. You will notice that this group provides the available methods for amine systems, solid system and steam systems. This is all the time we will spend here, since our system is not one of these special cases. Aspen Plus provides a method to suggest the appropriate property methods. You can go in Tools and click on Property Method Selection Assistant. This assistant guides the user to choose the right property method. For example, we can choose it, specifying the components or the process. In our case, we can try to specify the process. We have a chemical process, but you can choose between electrolyte, environmental, gas processing, oil, power, polymer, petrochemical, pharmaceuticals. We can click on chemical and Aspen suggests us to choose an activity coefficient based property method, for example NRTL, Wilson or Uniquac. This assistant could be very useful in the choice of the right property method. The last time we ran our simulation, we used the Soave Redlick Kuang thermodynamic method. For our homework, we will be comparing the simulation results obtained with this method to those obtained through three other methods, Ideal, Wilson and NRTL. We can start to use the Ideal method, so we can click on Physical Properties and we change the base method to ideal. We reinitialize our simulation and we can rerun it. Now we use the Wilson property method. As you can see here, we have to do another step where we confirm the parameters of the method. 
we have only to see them and click on next so we can rerun the new simulation at the same way we can do for the last property method the nrtl where we have to uh, recognize the binary parameters as input you can notice in the stream tables that both the ideal and Wilson thermodynamic methods do not predict any separation of our two liquid streams in the flash separator, indicated by the zero flow in the stream WA1. However, the NRTL thermodynamic method predicts a separation that is less efficient than that predicted by the Soave Redlich Kuang method in the last tutorial. The results with the Soave Redlich Kuang thermodynamics were better than what really occurs, and this is supported by these results. We have successfully completed this tutorial. Please explore the other video clicking here on the screen. Thank you. For further information, you can send an email or leave a message on YouTube. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!